Hello everyone, Scottish Lad here, and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the Target Phil Taylor Generation 4 darts in 24 gram. So let's crack on with Right guys, as you can see, we've got a nice close-up look to the Target Phil Taylor Generation 4 and 24 gram. Also available in 22 and 26 gram. Before we start, I'd like to point out these aren't the original size stems. It's usually a short stem these come in. This is intermediate length. And the points are usually 32. I've added 36 millimetre points. Exact same points. Still the target black diamond points. But nonetheless, obviously as you can see these are a bit battered as well. But these were sent to me by a subscriber from Canada, Keen Sutherland. Thanks very much again, buddy. But let's just crack on with the review. Obviously what we're meant to be doing. These are 95% tungsten, and it's a really, really nice looking dart in terms of a bomber dart, if that is your style, of course. As you can see, the grip is just a twin ring grip, with obviously the rear half is milled, so it's like a double ringed grip at the front, and at the rear you've got that twin. Obviously, this is sandblasted as well, it is starting to obviously fade away, well it has completely faded away, so it feels, you still get a bit of texture, but it feels more smooth than anything else. Black titanium nitride coated as well, which is always a bonus when it comes to a dart, depending on what you like. Personally, I would have preferred these in just natural tungsten, but that is just my preference. They are from here to here, 40 millimeters long. So it's obviously a short dart. It actually just looks like a John Lowe dart with the difference of grip, like obviously most bombers do. The width at the widest points, so you're kind of talking around about this middle section here before it tapers at rear and obviously goes round into that front onto the point is 7.65 millimeters. So it is obviously a thick dart, short dart, but that's what you expect with a bomber style. The price of these from most of the retailers is £109.95. Now, when these first released, I'm pretty sure they were only around about that £95 mark, so they've actually jumped up near enough £15. I don't know why that is, but obviously I'm sure somebody in the comment section will be able to tell me. They come equipped, obviously, with the titanium shafts, as you can see here. Very easy to change the tops. That's not the top, that's the actual stem. Just unscrew the top, which actually helps tighten your flight as well, and... Obviously, they're replaceable. As you can see, the G4 in there, obviously, Generation 4. But I've gave you pretty much all the necessary information on the Phil Taylor Generation 4s. So let's get them over to the board, and we'll see how we got on with them. Guys, as you can see in the throwing section, I opted to use these mini flights and... Actually, the more I threw with them, the more comfortable I felt in how they were going to fly through the air. Although these aren't for everyone, you can change to a standard or a kite. I did actually try a kite before I obviously started filming the review. And I was flying really well with the kite. But I thought for the sake of um, the review, for authenticity, I'd use the Taylor Flights. Obviously, it's not the short stem like Taylor uses. It's an intermediate. But either way, it works just the same. They land kind of similar. I also added these 36 mil points. And that is just purely because I think I'm pretty sure that's what Taylor threw when he threw these. I think Taylor now throws the new ones, the G8s. I'm not entirely sure about that, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comment section down below. What I really like about these Taylors is the fact that if you break a top, it's really easy just to change and stick a new one in. You can even have them pre-made like this, like Taylor used to do. He used to super glue his flights in there, so there was definitely not a chance that his flights were coming out. In terms of the grip, definitely level three, three and a half. Really comfortable in the hand, especially when you pull back and release it. It's just a smooth release. There's no messing about with it. The way they land, obviously they land flat or like this. It just depends on the way you throw. The way I was throwing, they were kind of landing like this, roughly. You can't have a, I've tried. Can't really get a dart standing up like that with these flights. It's just not possible. But nonetheless, although these are... 95% tungsten and they feel really nice. The sandblasting wears off really quick. The titanium nitride starts to wear really quick. And obviously the stems are a fortune if you manage to break them. It's unlikely you'll break them being titanium, but here we go. £110 could be a bit too much, but nonetheless, 
these are smashing darts. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section. But let's go and get wrapped up. And there we go guys, that was my review of the Phil Taylor Generation 4 darts in 24 gram. It's a lovely feeling dart if you like a bomber style. It's probably grippy but not overly aggressive in grip in my opinion. It could just be because the grip has dulled down. But to me they're definitely level 3.5 grip. I obviously equipped the 36mm black diamond points just to try and kind of replicate that Taylor feel because I'm pretty sure Taylor threw the 36mm points in them. It's a lovely set of darts for a bomber style and obviously you're paying for a name when it comes to a kind of target filled Taylor dart. These are going to set you back around about that £110 mark today at the time of filming this because I checked obviously all the different retailers that sell them. Target even sell them for 195 and then you get your free postage by DPD. But nonetheless, if you're a bomber thrower and you grip on the grip section, it's really nice. If there was still some of the sandblasting left on this, obviously it's wore down quite quickly. From since I got it, it was a bit and now it feels relatively smooth. Definite, definitely have a look and see if you can buy them on the second hand market rather than getting out and buying brand new. There's always a set of Gen 4s on Facebook or eBay. I'm constantly seeing them. But a big thank you to the subscriber and supporter of mine, Keen Sutherland, all the way from Canada, who sent me these back quite a while back, to be fair. And this is me reviewing them now, so I'm obviously it shows how much I had to do between then and now. But thanks very much for sending them. Otherwise, the review probably wouldn't have been possible. Thanks, everybody, for obviously watching. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Obviously, all the usual jazz that I say. Stay safe out there and keep on darting.